Abracadabra is a production of the West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine and its Healthy Children's Initiative. Additional funding for this program is provided by Charleston Area Medical Center, Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield West Virginia, and by the Brick Street Foundation. everybody and welcome to Abracadabra. Welcome, welcome. We're so excited. We're heading over to Daisy's garden shop to see some new flowers that she just got in. I can't wait. Come on, are you ready to go? Uh, yeah, before I go, yeah, I have a question. What's that? What do you give a dog with a fever? I don't know, Joey. What do you give a dog with a fever? Mustard. Mustard? It goes well with a hot dog. I, oh, come on, let's go. Okay, okay. Let's play the MyFlate game. Let's play the MyPlate game. Every meal should have a combination of fruits and vegetables, protein, grains, and dairy. Let's see what's on my plate today. Oh. My plate contains beef vegetable soup, which contains beef, which is a protein, carrots and potatoes, which are vegetables, wheat crackers, which is grain, and milk, which is dairy. Which one of these is needed to complete a healthy, balanced meal? Cheese, sliced apples, or a cupcake? It was the sliced apples. What was missing from my plate was a fruit. Eat a balanced food plate every day, and you'll always be a winner. Say, Daisy. What time do ducks wake up? I don't know. What time do ducks wake up? At the crack of dawn. <laughs> Daisy, uh, why did the grape stop in the middle of the road? I don't know. Why did the grape stop in the middle of the road? Because he ran out of juice. Ha, ha, ha. That's a good one. Why do potatoes always argue? Why? Because they can't see eye to eye. <laughs> <laughs> Where do sick ducks go? Where? to the doctor. <laughs> oh, you guys. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Mike. Hi, Joey. Have you come to see my new flowers? Yes, where are they? Right here. Wow, look at these beautiful flowers. <laughs> oh, oh, Joey, you just sneezed. Oh, I hope I'm not cutting down with a cold or something. <laughs> oh, Joey, I think you might be allergic to Daisy's flowers. Oh, no. Well, how can we stop it? I think we might need to take Joey to the allergist. Allergist? What's an allergist? Well, an allergist is a doctor who can test you to see if you have any allergies. And if you do, he can treat those allergies. What's an allergy? An allergy is a reaction that you can get from a specific item or object. Can I be allergic to you, Mike? Well, no, Joey. You can be allergic to plants or foods, but not people. So, being allergic makes me sneeze? That's right. Allergies cause all kinds of reactions. Some are small, like sneezing or itching, how people react when they're around poison ivy. Oh, but some can be much worse, like getting hives or having trouble breathing. Oh, are you sure it's these sl- <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, why don't I call the allergist and schedule an appointment? Uh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Did ye know that May is International Respect for Chickens Month? <laughs> there are more chickens on Earth than people! Oh, so you can see Joey today? Oh, that will be great. Y yes, thank you very much. W we'll be over in a little while. Okay, bye, thanks. Oh, hi, Mike. Oh, hi, kids. You seem worried. Is there something wrong? Well, 
I just got off the phone with the allergist to make an appointment for Joey. It seems that he may be allergic to some of Daisy's flowers. Do you think he's gonna be okay? Oh, sure, the allergist will help Joey, and then the next time Joey goes to the garden shop, he'll be able to enjoy Daisy's flowers. You know, there are all types of allergies. People can be allergic to plants, foods, soaps, as well as medicines and other chemicals. That's why it's so good to get treatment. Allergists and other doctors can help with all those causes and more. That's good to hear. It would also be good to see a magic trick. <laughs> well, I think we have time before the allergist appointment, and I have something set up over here. Have you all seen a trick where the magician and his assistant change places from a trunk? They put the assistant in a trunk, and the magician stands on top, and then they put a cloth over it, and then suddenly the magician is now in the trunk, and the assistant is on top. Well, it's called metamorphosis, and we're going to try it today, but we're going to do that with two playing cards. So today, we're going to use the queen as the assistant and the jack as the magician, okay? And this is the trunk. I'm going to show it to you. You can see that the back has sort of a clear window in it, and you can see right through that. Now, I'll tell you what, I'm going to take the jack, and I'm going to place the jack into the trunk. Okay. And you can see the jack through the window. And I'm going to lock the jack into the trunk. Then I'm going to take the queen and I'm going to place the queen inside the sack. And place the stand on top. So now the queen is on top and the jack is in the trunk. Need your help? Can you say the magic words abracadabra? Ready? Abracadabra. Watch real carefully. The jack is now on top. And inside the trunk is the queen. How about that? Wow. Great <laughs> trick, Mike. Hi girls and boys. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can move a liquid from one cup to another and then make it turn color. To do this experiment, you need some cups and water and food coloring and some paper towels. So in this cup, I have blue water and I created that by just taking some food coloring and adding water to it. And in this one, I have yellow water using yellow food coloring. Notice that the center cup doesn't have any water in it. And then I took a paper towel and I rolled it up and I twisted it so it's like a cord-like structure. And I'm going to put one end into the blue water and then the other end into the empty cup. And then I have another paper towel rolled up and I put it in the yellow water and the other end into the empty cup, just like that. So you can see what's happening is the paper towel is absorbing the liquid. Absorption is a process by which a liquid is being taken up by something. In this case, the paper towel. And so paper towels are made of cellulose. And cellulose comes from trees. Cellulose has lots of air spaces in them. So the liquid is actually filling up those air spaces and passing through the towel. So if you let this experiment sit for a couple of hours, this is what happens. Now you can see that the center cup has liquid in it. The liquid is passing from the, the blue cup and the yellow cup through the paper towels and then filling the center cup with liquid. But the other thing is the color is different. So what's going on with that? Well, blue and yellow are primary colors. And when you combine them together, it forms green. Isn't this a fun experiment? Boys and girls, if you want to learn more about science, just go to our website. And remember, it looks like magic, but it's science. Oh. Come on, guys, let's get up and move our bodies. Hawk, I sense an exercise song. I'd best go on land and investigate. Perhaps I could move my body. Hi, oh. let's move our
Hi, Joey. Yes, Stevie, too. What are you doing here? Oh, well, I heard you were going to visit the allergist. And? Well, I, too, had allergies when I was little. You did? Yes, they were horrible. I went to see the allergist, but he didn't do anything for me. He didn't, but I thought he could. No, the only thing that's going to fix your allergies, Joey, is to go and play in the park. That's what everyone else is doing. <laughs> play in the park, really? Oh, yes, yes, it'll be good for you. <laughs> There's so many plants in the park, Joey's sure to sneeze. It'll make him miserable. Uh, what did you say? Oh, I said, go to the park. It'll make your allergies feel better. Wow, thanks, Nastini. I'll go to the park right away. Oh, good boy, good boy. <laughs> Sometimes it's just too easy to be a villain. <laughs> It's time for a quick trick. Today, I have a card with a hole in it and a half dollar. I want to show you the hole. It's impossible to take this half dollar and poke it through that small hole. But we're going to try to do it today anyway. I'm going to take the half dollar and I'm going to place it between the two folds of the card. Then I'm going to let it slide down to the end. And watch real carefully. I'm going to grab it through the hole and Pull it right out, and you can see that the hole is still solid. Can you make a half dollar go through a small hole in your cart? Sure you can. I'll show you how after this. Today's quick trick is brought to you by turnips. The turnip has a bulb-shaped root and fresh green tops. The tops, also known as turnip greens, are more nutritious than the bulb. Ancient documents suggest that Greeks and Romans were very fond of this root crop. Since discovery of the potato, the turnip lost a bit of its popularity in European countries, but it's still grown widely. In the United States, cooked turnips are eaten as root vegetables in the autumn and winter. The greens of the turnip are harvested and eaten all year. Other countries prepare turnips as part of a juice, salads, or to eat pickled. Turnips are low in calories, low in fat, and cholesterol free. They also contain vitamin C, vitamin A, and calcium. Place those all together and you have turnips. Try some turnips today and see why I like them. Now here's the quick trick secret. For this trick, you're gonna to need to make up a very special card before you show this to anyone. Take a face card, and at the top of the face card where the lines are, cut a slit big enough so that if you're using a half dollar or a quarter, it can slip through the slit. Okay. Then in the center of the card, Take a dime, place it in the center, outline it, and cut out the hole that you've outlined. I already have a card prepared here. Fold this card in half, making sure that the slit that you cut is actually in the back of the card. Now, what it's gonna look like is that you're gonna take the half dollar and place it between the folds of the card, like that. Okay. See that? But really what you're going to do, and I'm turning this around so you can see it from the back, you're really going to place it through the slot that you made. So it comes out on the back side of the card. To your audience though, it looks like that. Pull the card down on the back of the, of the card. You can see it back here but it makes it look as if it's now gonna to start to come out of the hall. Grab the coin and pull it out. It'll look just as if it came out of the hole that you made in the center of the card. Show that the hole is still intact, and that is the Quick Trick Secret. For more Quick Tricks, be sure to visit our website. In the meantime, try this one at home and you'll fool yourself. Salty? Shh! I tried to 
to make this pot. <laughs> I win! I win! <laughs> wow, Salty, I didn't know that you play golf. Of course. I am fabulous at all sports. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, well, <laughs> I came over here because Joey has allergies. Allergies? Oh, what is he allergic to? Ye? Oh, no, Salty. He's allergic to some of Daisy's new flowers. Oh, well, what do you want me to do about it? Well, I'm supposed to be taking Joey to the allergist in a little while, but I came over here because I thought maybe you had a cure. Why is it that anytime anyone is sick or has a medical problem, you come to me? Do ye think that I have a D.O., that is a Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine degree? Yeah, well, no, but you're a pirate and you travel all over the world. So I thought maybe in your travels, you might have come across oh, a solution to this problem. As a matter of fact, I have. Really? Oh, wow, that's great. Yes, I, I know how to cure Joey's allergies to Daisy's new flowers. Well, how? Get rid of the flowers. I, the, salty! Well, back to me potting. <laughs> but, but Salty, I... Oh, I guess it's off to the allergist. It's time for a healthy snack! Yuck! Hi, guys! Hi, Hi Daisy. Daisy! We came for a healthy snack. We could really use some energy. And something yummy. Well, today I'm making cucumber turkey roll-ups. Sounds good! How do you make them? And can we help? Well, they're very easy to make, and yes, you can help me make one. Okay, so you take a slice of turkey, and then a very thin slice of cucumber, and put that right on the turkey. Then you're gonna take a piece of tomato. Abby, can you help me? Very good. And then some carrots. Very good. And some lettuce. Thank you. And then you're gonna wrap it like this, and take a toothpick, Stick the toothpick in to hold it in place. And there you have the cucumber turkey roll up. They only have 56 calories, four grams of sugar, and three tenths of a gram of fat. Perfectly healthy. Let's eat. Mmm. Yum. Yum. Hi, Mike. Oh, hi. hi How are y'all doing? Can we see a magic good. trick? A magic trick? Yeah. Now? Um, okay, I'll tell you what. I was just setting up this trick for a customer who's going to be coming in. How about if I practice on you? Okay. Okay. So, okay. okay. so what I put back here is my prediction. All right, that's what that is back there. And I have um, a deck of playing cards. Just going to show you the deck. You can see that it's a pretty normal deck. Because it is. <laughs> now, I'm going to flip through the cards like this. And Daisy, you just tell me when to stop. Stop. Right there? Mm -hmm. Okay, take off the card. Now, I don't want to see the card, so I'm going to turn around. You show it to everybody here and everybody at home. Tell me when you've done that. Yep. Okay. All right. Now, you have your card. Mm -hmm. I have the prediction. I'm going to get the prediction. Oh, yes. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The Ace of Diamonds. No, that wasn't it. That's not no. the, ch no. the card, really? No. no. Hmm. Well, I told you I had to practice this. What, <laughs> what was the card? It was the Queen of Diamonds. The Queen of Diamonds. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe we can do some magic anyway. Okay, hold the Queen of Diamonds close to this here. This is the Ace of Diamonds. That's Queen, right? Can you all say the magic words and then watch the Ace of Diamonds? Ready? Go ahead. Abracadabra! Look at that. Whoa! It becomes the Queen. Of diamonds, you'd see the front and the back of them. Oh, what was that? Oh, oh, that? Oh, that was amazing. Like, I don't think you need any practice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Did you know that Earth moves around the sun at a rate of 19 miles per second? Did you know that spiders have clear blood? Did you know there is the same amount of water on Earth now as there was when the Earth was formed? Hey, Joey. Hey, Joey. Oh, hi, everyone. Joey, what are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way to the park. I thought you were going to the allergist, Joey. Well, Nastini too told me that if I went to the allergist, he wouldn't help me. But if I went to the park, then my allergies would be fixed. I think Nastini too is trying to trick you. That's right, Joey. The allergist can really help you. Really? Yes, I have allergies too. I used to feel sick at my stomach a lot, and many times I got sick after eating. I'm allergic to different kinds of foods, but my allergist has been really helping me. My allergy isn't the kind that makes me sneeze. It's a different kind of allergy. You see, Joey? You're not the only one with allergies. Lots of people have different allergies, and you need a doctor's help in case you feel sick after you eat a food or get a rash or any other kind of reaction to an allergy. An allergy may mean you're sensitive to certain types of plants or medicines. An allergy may cause a reaction to an animal or certain types of food. When pollen from some plants is floating in the breeze It can make my eyes water and make me cough and sneeze And that is the very same way that my body reacts If I get too close to a horse, a dog, or cat Allergy may mean you're sensitive to certain types of plants or medicines. An allergy may cause a reaction to an animal or certain types of food. Do you peanuts may be delicious, but they're dangerous to me. If I eat something with peanut oil, I'll find it hard to breathe. Allergy may mean you're sensitive to certain types of plants or medicines. An allergy may cause a reaction to an animal or certain type of food. An allergy may mean you're sensitive to certain types of plants or medicines. An allergy may cause a reaction to an animal or certain type of food. Okay, I'm going to the allergist. Yeah, good for you, Joey. Are ye ready to play the Make a Healthy Choice game? Yes, yeah, Salty, we're ready. Even though I love the peanut butter, especially with the jelly. <laughs> Some people are allergic to peanut. So today I'm going to show ye three products and ye have to decide which one would make the best peanut free snack for school. So first we have pretzels, then peanut butter crackers, and finally mixed nuts. Now, which one is the peanut-free snack? We choose the pretzels. Excellent choice. <laughs> yes, pretzels is correct. Uh, the peanut butter crackers have peanut butter in them, which contain peanuts, and the mixed nuts also contain peanuts. So the pretzels are the correct choice. Make a healthy choice at home, and you will always be a winner! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Oh, hi, Daisy. How are you? Mmm, these flowers smell so good. Joey, you're not sneezing. Did you go see the allergist? I sure did, and I'm so glad. He really helped me. Charlie convinced me to go, and now I feel great. Now I can smell the flowers all that I want. Good for you, Joey. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm so glad that your allergies are better, Joey. Me too, yes. What are you gonna put in your journal today? Well, today I learned that it's important to see your doctor or allergist when you have allergies. That's right. You know, the doctor or allergist will give you some medication to help keep your allergies under control. Say, Knight, speaking of allergy, why did the bee go to the allergist? I don't know, Joey. Why did the bee go to the allergist? Because she had hives. I, oh, say goodbye, Joey. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Thank you for being my friend. And remember, boys and girls, the real magic is in you. Bye, everybody. Hi. Hi, Joey. Did Hi. you come to see my new flowers? <laughs> <laughs> Every meal should have a... Oops. Is anyone else hear that loud vacuum? <laughs> Hello, Joey. Hello, Joey. I win! <laughs> Salty. I didn't know that you played golf. Of course. What do we do about that? <laughs> <laughs> Abracadabra is a production of the West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine and its Healthy Children's Initiative, working for a healthier West Virginia. Additional funding for this program is provided by Charleston Area Medical Center, the heart and soul of healthcare. Learn more about our 5210 campaign to keep kids healthy on the web at CAMC dot org forward slash kids highmark blue cross blue shield west virginia offering affordable insurance products for all your needs find the right coverage for you visit highmark bc bswv.com we've got you covered and by the brick street foundation proud to support local organizations that make a positive difference helping communities grow to their fullest potential for more information visit us online at BrickStreetFoundation.org.